Okay, I got the front jaw here. I've laid out the, the center. I need to cut a hole through big enough to clear this nut. Uh, the nut goes, threads onto the the screw from behind and goes against the metal plate that will be on the front here. So the hole has to be big enough to clear this. Uh, the closest size I've got is two and an eighth hole saw here so I'm going to use that. It's not really critical that it uh, be exact fit. I mean it's better if it's a little bit uh, a little bit of space around it. So I'll just go ahead and I'll drill that out. <clears throat> I notice that I'm going a little fast and I keep plunging in and pulling out um, the purpose for that is you could go slower but what happens is these chips gum up these teeth too quickly and um, having it go faster it actually slings the chips out better so that's been my experience anyways your 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 experience might be different so And that's it. A nice clean hole. Now I can uh, now I can mount the, the metal plate on here and uh, get that ready. Okay, I laid out my plate in the right spot, and I made uh, marks in here um, where the holes line up, and then I I just eyeballed X's in here to locate my my drill bit, and I drilled three sixteenths inch holes. I'm gonna drive these. Uh, these are number 14 screws, flathead, and they'll sit in flush with the surface of this, or a little bit below. Make it. I didn't want them sticking out at all, so <clears throat> I'm just gonna put a couple in here temporarily because uh, this is just for for the mock-up right now to get it together to see that it's working properly. So. cut these screws off because they're a bit long, especially up here at the top where there's a rabbit for the jaw. Uh, they work just the same. So that's that. Uh, next step is to uh, is to get working on the on the the quick release mechanism and I'll go over that in some detail. <clears throat> Alright, this is the quick release mechanism for the for the vise. And now I went back and forth on this, how I was going to make this work. Um, it was kind of the, the place where I actually started the design of this vise. Uh, what I wanted was um, I didn't want to stand there wheeling the screw in. It would take too long. I, I wanted a big wide opening uh, to hold bigger parts. But I didn't want to have to wheel the screw in and out. So I came up with the idea of, of taking uh, the nut that fits on the rod and splitting it down the middle and then making some way of parting that so that the rod can slip through. So here's what I came up with. The two halves of the nut are uh, glued in right here. How it works is that this is the normally how it looks when it's closed. I've got a lever here, and when you push it ahead, I still have to put a stop in, it opens. And that allows the rod to go through. I'll try to get that. The rod can slip in, and then once it's in position, you pull the lever back, and that's it. It's, it's, it it'll work. It's just as simple as that. Uh, 
believe me, it was it was a lot more complicated to come up with the design of it. I had some other ideas that I worked through. You can see these uh, these slots up here. Uh, at the end of it, I said, you know what? That's too compli complicated to try to cut these short arcs and these pieces with the router. Just make it so that it, it rides in the track on the outside here. And the lever has um, pins that are, are glued in. These are actually 3 8 bolts that are cut off and glued in. And it pivots in the center here on another 3 8 bolt. And that's what will actually give it some friction. You tighten this nut. This will be a lock nut, not a, not a regular nut. You tighten this nut to give you some friction here so it won't come undone once it's up ahead. That was the other thing. Making it, making it simple. I, I thought of different ways to make this lock, but in the end what I did was I realized that all you need is a little bit of friction there and it won't come undone. When this rod is pulling on, on the nut, it's not actually trying to spread these jaws apart. It works pretty good. So what this, what this block here represents is part of the tabletop. How this works is this bolts up directly underneath the tabletop. And these bolts are half inch bolts, they're six inches long, and they go through the table in countersinks, so they're the flush with the tabletop, through the jaws, through the plywood undercarriage, and they get nuts on the bottom also. And these are going to be uh, lock nuts also, so that you can tighten that up. And that'll actually put some little bit of friction on the jaws as well. So the whole thing, even though it is, uh, it is, it was complicated to design. It's by no means complicated to build. It's fairly simple. What happens next is I need to cut this part, the plywood undercarriage, a little bit shorter, and I need to make a rabbit in the bottom, on the inside jaw, for that to fit in, and then there will be fillers put in after beside it to fill up the gap. And that'll be, it'll be something like this, and that'll be pretty much the complete unit without the outside jaw. Now, I've taken the thing apart to shorten this piece, and uh, i give you a closer look at the lever that uh, opens and closes the jaw. It's, uh, it's a pretty basic shape. It's got a little bit of a handle cut into it. Not that that's really important. Uh, but it has a 3 8 inch bolt. This is a 2 inch bolt countersunk on the other side and this has been glued in with uh, epoxy. It's also got two uh, of the smooth shafts of uh, two and a half inch bolts uh, cut off and glued in here. I just cut these off with the zip cut blade in the grinder and glued them in flush. I roughed up the side of the shaft a little bit before I put the glue in and stuck it in. Okay I've rabbited the uh, fixed jaw on the bottom here to receive uh, the undercarriage and just screwed it on here. All this is is pretty much temporarily put in place until I get this uh, design actually worked out properly. So <clears throat> I also drilled an accurate hole that lines up with the center line of this uh, jaw assembly back here for the rod to go in and uh, it screws in like that. It works pretty good. Uh, to release it, you push ahead the lever back here. Just pull it right out. The next step is to put in the guide rods that, um, that keep the outside jaw in line and uh, guide it in and out. So that's it. Uh, it's working well. I'm really happy with it. Makes a cool sound, right? And locks up solid. Beautiful.